Hey guys, welcome to another Thinkorswim video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the time intervals on charts. And by time intervals, I mean aggregation period. So, what do I mean by aggregation period? I mean, when you're when you're looking at a chart, uh, you can see that the time, the timestamp is here. Every time I move my mouse, the time changes. So for example, here if I, it's at 1021, if I move it a little bit, it changes every minute. So that's because it's a, a five-day chart of Apple with an aggregation period of one minute. That, that one minute here means that every time I move this mouse, the time up here is going to change by one minute. So how do I change this? Like, how do I make it like if I, want, if I move the mouse a little bit, the time would change by something like maybe five minutes. What you do is you go here, settings, time axis, aggregation period. Right now it's one minute. You change that to help whatever you want. So if you want it to change every five minutes, you can change, You can click five there. Apply, OK. And now it says Apple five day, five minutes. So now if you look at the time here, it should change to from 2.15 PM to 2.20 PM. Oh, 15. I'm moving it a little too fast, but yeah, you can see it changes every five minutes. And if you want a shortcut to that, instead of clicking here, you can just click on this number here. You see it says five minutes, click there. And then you can change it to like a, a time frame. And then after time frame, you can do aggregation period here. like every 30 minutes if you want, or maybe every 3 minutes. So now it's a 5 day 3 minute graph. So here it's 7.42, then, oh, it's, you know, let me move in, zoom in a little bit to make it easier. Alright, so it's uh, 9.48 after 3 minutes, 51, yeah, there we go. Should be 54 next, 57, so yeah, you can see it changes every three minutes. That's how you change the time interval. Alright, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.